Peace, everybody. This is Tom Samal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. I'm really doing a quick series today of a number of um, videos as I'm looking outside and it's snowing again here in Chicago. It just does not stop. Either it'll be below zero or it'll start snowing. And now it's gotten to the point where it snows when it's below zero, which is just throwing everything out of whack. But this is by far one of the worst winters that I've ever in my 45 years have dealt with. But getting to the point... I'm so happy to have the opportunity. You know, I'm one of those cats that came up uh, in a different type of uh, way. I was adopted illegally. Well, it wasn't a legal or illegal, legal or illegal adoption, but someone else raised me. You know, I was a, a teenage parent, a college dropout, worked in the corporate world, but I always had that business mentality. I always wanted to have that uh, my own. I had the entrepreneur spirit, so I went out of my way to do a number of things that may have been counterproductive um, to a certain extent. In essence, I sold bootleg CDs, and I sold bootleg v DVDs, and I sold um, bootleg T-shirts and all of that. Made a killing when the Bulls were winning championships. Trust me, I was. And... Um, I had all types of businesses that I've started, but my whole goal in life was always to have my own. And now I do have my own. So production is coming in a way, but I had to do something that I did. I never realized this up here. I never realized that I did not have the proper mindset until I got you know, more involved around people who had a, same, a similar thought pattern to me, but most importantly... I paid attention to people who had what I want. And I started to understand and recognize that they thought differently from the way I thought. Rich people think differently. Wealthy people think differently than people that are middle class and poor. And what I'm learning is, is when you have the opportunity to be around with, uh, and I'm learning these powerful technologies, uh, uh, te um, techniques rather, I'm learning these different strategies, and I'm starting to re-understand that you need to go through that washing machine. You have to recondition your mindset. Now, don't get me wrong. I've always known that it's actually thought that changes you. You have to change your way of thinking. I understand that. Trust me. But something was blocking me up here. And it came, when it came to wealth, when it came to going to that next level of higher success, it was a block that I had. And what I called it was, I called being poor as a curable disease. It's a disease. It's something that can continuously spread, but with the change of this up here, you can change it just like that. With the change of your thinking, the changing of your mindset, this is what all of the great people have said. And now we're starting to recognize it. And those of us that want to have change in our lives, those of us that have wants and desires to be wealthy for reasons that are a positive, not only for their family, but to help others. So there's motivational factors that came into play. Now we can see why. Rich people think different. We can see why wealthy people think different than poor people and middle class people. Those that are considered poor, those that are considered middle class, if there is such a middle class in today's time. But what we, I had to do is start to challenge my mind. I had, to, I had to challenge my mind. I had to challenge myself to change my mental approach. I had to, change, uh, I had to challenge myself to not think about things or allow things that come into my head that would be counterproductive to me. And I also had to stop having financial, mental, you know, um, just things that, thought that were negative, mentally challenging financial thoughts. So, and stop thinking that you know, money is bad. Money is not bad. It says in the Holy Quran that the abundance of wealth is merely a diversion. It didn't say that you can't be wealthy. It says the abundance of wealth. But it also meant, in my opinion, is what you do when you receive that wealth is the diversion. It's what you do when you receive that wealth. That's the diversion. So what we have here is now not only have I learned it, I'm able to express it and pass it on to other people. And I have clients that are actually paying me to be the expert in their lives to help them with not only with their financial woes, but mainly with this up here. So all of these years that I've gone through, see, I'm a bundle of experiences. 
In my 45 years, I've been able to experience a number of things, and most of them have been positive. Most of them have been positive, and I didn't even realize it. They were learning experiences that now I can bring into a life, and now I can be able to share it with the world, and now that weight is off my back. See, I don't have any business. All of my business is out there for anybody and everybody to see. Conversation Corner, Thomas Amal. Click the link below. The expert is right here. That's why I'm called Life's Liaison. This is what I can do for you. Now the next step is, is do you want? All of my information is below. Contact me. Let's go from there. I have other opportunities that are out there that can help you get to where you want. But we have to make you solid and whole and have a foundation. Talk to you soon. Conversation Corner. Peace.